So sometimes with an anxious dog, working through their problems is as simple as just being patient. I'm sitting here with Sadie right now. It's the end of the night. It's about midnight. And she was just real wound up. And I thought this would be a perfect time to work through this. So we've been doing what we call settle the dog. And I'm literally just sitting in this chair, sitting on her leash. She's got this much leash, which is enough to lay down and enough to be anxious. <laughs> and that's about it. That's about as much space as she has. So um, she's kind of, you know, been on and off kind of whiny, real heavy panting. Um, if she had any more leash length, she'd be circling my chair. She's gone to the other side a couple of times. But I'm literally just going to sit here until she lays down and relaxes. That's it. And this kind of thing really helps to cut through that anxiety. So she's laying now, but I wouldn't say she's relaxed. But even if she just lays like this for a few minutes, then we'll get up and we'll be done. But oftentimes dogs with anxiety, and she's got just anxiety about pretty much everything. Just always in an anxious state, whether she's in her crate, she's out, she's just always like, ah, right? So she's generally trying to figure something out or she's trying to control something. So right now, she has no ability to control anything. She can protest, you know, verbally she can protest while she's here, but she's gonna get no positive feedback from that. She's not gonna get any positive attention. Um, it's gonna be futile. And she's only going to do it for so long, hopefully not too long, because I've already committed to this, uh, before she realizes it's not worth it, or she just gets exhausted. Uh, whichever comes first is fine. Um, but her realizing through this, this type of exercise that, one, she can't do anything about whatever kind of thing is stressing her out, which could just be like, I want to go do something, or that shouldn't be there. Or why aren't you doing this? Whatever it is, she can't do anything about it. And more importantly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect her. She is going to be fine. Even though she has no control over anything that is in her environment, she's going to be fine. And after, you know, several times of coming to that realization on her own, then she can start to, when she is stressed or anxious in a different situation, a real life situation, one that I haven't created like this one where I'm sitting on the leash, she understands that she can get through it. She'll be fine. So we are gonna sit here, whether it takes another five minutes or half an hour or whatever, until she calms down. Did you need anything? Frustration. So this is about 10 minutes later. She's getting frustrated. she was being calm so that is
is your ticket to getting some more freedom and being able to get up is you being calm and that was like I said it was literally only about two minutes but I've had it now we did that for you know, it was about a half an hour or so and that's something that we'll continue to do throughout her stay here in kind of some different uh, iterations and different locations and such so yeah